honor you tonight in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. We thank God for allowing us another great chance and another opportunity to be back to the place of worship, to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth, and to do those things that are pleasing in the sight of the Lord. Thank God for all the baptized believers everywhere, those that have a mind to want to continue to do those things that are right according to the word of the Lord. We just thank God for them. All of the men that are preaching and teaching the words of truth in the day in which we now live. Knowing that we are living in the last dark and evil days where men, women, boys and girls, some of them don't want God, but we thank God that we have a mind to want to do that which is right to please the Lord. You know, the scripture teaches that there'll be a great falling away. And we just thank God people are falling away, but nevertheless, God's word is still truth. Amen. How long has it been truth? It's been truth from Amen. the beginning. Amen. And we thank God for that. And we pray that the Lord will ever continue to bless and to keep according to his eternal will. Amen. We'll get started in the word of God tonight. We thank God always for the word because that is what gives us the information about God, isn't it? Amen. And we thank God for the word. If it wasn't for the word, then everybody and everything would be right, but we have the word of God, the thing which is right, and which is able to save every human living if they would take heed to what it says. So the scriptures is written for our learning that we may be able to do those things that are pleasing in the sight of the Lord. In the 13th chapter of Hebrews, 13th chapter of Hebrews, we always like going to the word, every word of God is right. And I tell you, we should believe on him according to the scripture. Amen. Believe on God as the scripture has said. Is that right? Amen. Whatever the scripture say, that's what it is. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's how we have to believe according to the scripture. Amen. All right, well, we're going to get started tonight. 13th chapter of Hebrews, you what the word said, because it's always something in the word that can give us inspiration. Yes. Let's hear it. Verse 1. Amen. Hebrews 13 and 1. What it says? Let brotherly love continue. Well, that's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Amen. Amen. The Lord want us to continue to let brotherly love continue. Let love continue. Love is the fulfilling of the law. The Lord said, you know, love ye one another by this all men know ye are my disciples. Is that right? He commanded us that we should love one another and then we are taught by God how to love one another. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers. Well, don't be forgetful to entertain strangers. For thereby some have entertained angels unaware. Amen. Entertain angels unaware. Read. Remember them that are in bounds. Yes. As bound with them, and them which suffered adversity, mm -hmm. as being yourself also in the body. Remember them. Read. Marriage is honorable and all. Well, marriage is honorable. Marriage is honorable. And all. And all. Marriage is honorable and all and the when, when, whenever it's done according to the word of God. Amen. Marriage is honorable and all. Because you get two men married, that ain't honorable. You get two women married, that is not honorable. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Well, I mean, it's the truth. You know, it's the truth. Marriage is honorable. And all of you, we have to bring that in because people in today's society think that it's A-OK -okay for two men or two women to get married. People in legislature up in high offices, they pass laws and say it's all right. But in the sight of the Lord, it's all wrong. Amen? Amen. Amen. God made, he didn't make Steve and Adam. Is that right? Adam and Eve. Amen. Then he took and put Adam to sleep and then got a rib and made a woman. Amen. He didn't make another man. Amen. He got the woman for his help. So I just want to let everybody know 
that that's not right according to the scripture. Is that all right? Yes. Not right. Marriage is honorable and the bed is undefiled. Read. Marriage is honorable in all. In all. And the bed undefiled. And the bed is undefiled. But more, more mongers and adulterers. All right, listen to what he says now. God will judge. Listen to what he said. But more mongers. But more mongers. And adulterers. And adulterers. God will judge. God going to judge him. Let is that all right? God going to judge him. Homongers, adulterers, God going to judge him. Living in adultery, God will judge him. Homongers, just from here to there, God going to judge him. You're going to be judged. That's why he said you're going to be judged out of the book. Is that right? Everybody going to be judged out of the book. Another book was open, a book was open, and the dead were judged out of those things, which are written in the books. Read the Bible. Let your conversations be without covetousness. Let your conversations be without covetousness. And be content with such things as ye have. You know, you may not have what you desire to have in life. You know, young people sometimes you don't have what you desire. But be content. You know, be content with what you have. For ye have said, What? I will never leave you nor forsake you. And that's a beautiful thing because though you may not have what you desire, if you have the Lord in your life, if you repenting of your sin, been baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ, and living, striving to live like God, say, you're all right. You're all right. You may not have all and everything that you want to in this life, but if you have Jesus, he doesn't let you know. I'm not going to leave you no forsake. So that we may boldly say. The reason why is that we may boldly say what? The Lord is my helper. Can we, you want to be able to boldly say that? Is that right? Be content with what you have. And, and, and if you don't have it, the Lord will take care of you because Jesus said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Sometimes things don't come to you when you want to, when you want it a right away, but you can be content with having Jesus in your life. Amen. All right? So that we may say, that we may boldly say, that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Amen. The and Lord. I will not fear what man shall do unto me. That's a broad statement right there. Yeah. That ain't just that ain't just something being said. Yeah. That is a very broad statement. So that we may boldly say. The Lord is my helper. You ain't got to be afraid, you ain't got to be shaken. Can you boldly say that? Can you boldly say that? The Lord is our helper. That we, we want to live where we can boldly say that. Where we can put our confidence, our hope, our trust in the Lord. Where we don't have to worry about what man says because man do and say a lot of things. And sometime, sooner or later, man is going to say something that's going to interfere with our life living for the Lord. But can we boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Is my helper. And I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Do you hear what he said? I'm not going to feel what man will do. Is that right? Sometimes people get shook up because man say this or the other. People get shook up about men saying a lot of things. Is that right? Kind of like shot like you shot in a bit ago. Is that right? Yeah. They, they had set a law and set something in order for them to bow down and worship. But they wouldn't feel what man would do. The king said, well, if, we, if you don't bow down, when you hit them, the, the, the flutes, the, the sight bucks, and all these things, if you don't bow down and worship, you're going to be thrown, is that right, in the fire of yeah. And they said, okay, we're not careful how we answer in this matter, but if our God don't deliver us, yeah. is that right, we ain't going to bow down. So we got to be at a point to where, regardless of the circumstance of what man may bring forth, we got to be able to stand. But yeah. we can boldly say, the Lord is our help. Yeah, that, is, that just, we got to be able to live that way. Amen. All right, what you got? Verse 7. Let's hear it. Remember them which have rule over you. Remember them which have the rule over you. Who have spoken unto you the word of God. Yes. Whose faith follow. Yes. Considering the end of their conversation. Considering the end of the conversation. 
Jesus Christ the same yesterday. Jesus Christ, he's the same when? The same yesterday. Yesterday. And today. Yes, he's the same yesterday, today, and how long? And forever. Amen. He's Jesus Christ, the same today, yesterday. Amen. He's going to change. Amen. That's why we shouldn't change. Amen. If we follow the Lord Jesus, we shouldn't change. Amen. We should have a mind that want to continue to run up the King's Highway and be obedient Amen. to the Lord. Not to change, but people change. Yes. People change. It's like the wind. It's like the lizard change. People changing now. We live in a town where people just changing. Is that right? We want to be able to have confidence in the Lord and then not change. Be the same. Be the same. You know, sometimes you see people say, you know what? You don't never change. Well, if we live for God, we're supposed to be the same. We're supposed to strive for being the same. Not one thing tonight, then next, next week be something else, and the next week be something else. People change up too much. Yeah. What he says? Man, verse 9. What he said? Be not caring about, caring about with divers and strange doctors. See what he just said? He said, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Then the next passage come along and says, what? Be not caring about with divers, divers and strange doctors. All kinds of strange doctors. We just can't be involved in hearing any and everything. It got to be sound. Amen. It got to be something where it don't change because the Lord don't change. Amen. Man change. Man want to bring in new doctrine, new changes, but the word don't change. That's why we got to believe God and stick with God according to the scriptures. Amen. If the scripture said we got to believe it, obey it, and then that settles it. Amen. Now you may not be up to everything, that the scripture talks about, but that should be your desire. Yes. Lord, I want it to be everything you want me to be because I want to be saved. Amen. And whatever it takes, you you're right, you got to take off and put on. Amen. What he says? For it is a good thing. It is a good thing. That the heart be established with grace. Oh, and then this other beautiful. Ain't that amazing? Listen to those passages of scripture and see how they harmonize and how he's telling us. Jesus said yesterday, today, and forever. and forever. Then he said, be not carried about with divers, with divers and strange doctrine. doctrine. For it is good thing. For it is a good thing. That what? That the heart be established with grace. Amen. With the love of God. The, the heart, he said. Yeah. Because you know the heart is the most deceitful thing it is. Is that right? It is desperately wicked. So we got to make sure our heart is right. Amen. Is that right? Amen. A lot of people come around, your heart is right. But you got to have a good and right heart. Amen. What our heart right? Amen. Proverbs 16, 9. Listen to what it said. A man's heart deceiveth his way. The, a man's heart does what? Deceiveth his way. A man's heart deceiveth his way. But the Lord direct his path. His Amen. Steps. He direct his steps. Amen. See, man, heart will take him a lot of different places. That's why we we encourage everyone to seek the Lord. Yeah. Repent of your sin. Be baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Let God come into your life. Let God come into your heart so that you can have a changed heart, a changed mind, yeah. a changed walk. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. You look at life differently. God is showing you this life is different because with him it will be different. What he said? For it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, mm -hmm. not with meats. Not with meats. Which have no not profit them that have been occupied therein. Yes. We have an altar. We have an altar. Whereof they have no right to eat, which serve the tabernacle. Uh-huh. For the bodies of those beasts, those blood is brought into the sanctuary, sanctuary by the high priest for sin. Yes. A burnt without the camp. A burnt without separate. If a burnt, when the priest went into the place where the atonement or the sacrifice, the, the, everybody worked there was just the priest. Read. Amen. Wherefore Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood. Amen. Jesus, come cleanse us. If there had not been the shedding of his blood, there would then be no remission of sin. Thank God the Father for Jesus Christ the Son. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that all right? Yeah. Amen. Thank God the Father 
But Jesus Christ the Son, the one that came, the one that was sent. The one that was sent into the world for us so that our sins could be removed. And if it had not been the shedding of his blood, then there would be no remission of sin. Thank God for the bloodshed of Jesus Christ. Read the book. That he might sanctify the people with his own Sanctify the people with his, see I was pure blood too. Is that all right? Sanctify the people. Cleanse the people with his blood. We are cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. Thank God. Had there been the shedding of blood, there would be no remission. It's his blood. It's his bloodshed. Why do you think he went to the cross? Why do you think he died? Shed his blood so that our sins would be remitted. Read the book. With his own blood suffered without the gate. He suffered without the gate. Let us go forth, therefore, unto him without the camp. Let us go forth without to him without the camp. Bearing his reproach. Bearing his, the thing that he went through. See, we, we have to, each individual have to know the Lord and be able to come to the Lord for yourself. Yeah. You know, we sing a song, save yourself. Yeah. You have to save yourself. Yeah. Right? You've got to do what you need to do yeah. in order to save yourself. Mama don't want to go, dad, sister, brother, hug up. Whoever it may be, you've got to be able to come and serve the Lord yourself according to the word of God. Is that right? Sometimes people look at other people, well, they ain't doing nothing. Well, you got to save yourself. Is that right? When you start looking around and looking at people who come and who go and who ain't, God says, save yourself. Read the book. For here have we no continuing sin. I hear we don't have. No continuing city. But we seek one to come. Yes. By him, there, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. Amen. Offer the sacrifice of what? Of praise. We, we should be able to praise the Lord continually. That is, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him honor. Continually. He ain't say stop. Amen. Ain't no stopping and praise the Lord. Amen. What he said? By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise. The sacrifice of praise. To God continually. To God continually. That is. What? The fruit of our lips, giving thanks to him, to, to his name. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Is that right? Continually. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anyone get silence on it? Yeah. The praise of our lips. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Lifting up your voice. Making a joyful noise. Being thankful to God. Is that right? Sometimes we come in and get silent on them. Is that right? We well, should always be able to give thanks. To listen to what that scripture said. Beginning in verse 15 again. Listen to the listen to some key words in here. Read the book. By him, therefore. By him, therefore. Let us offer the sacrifice of praise. Hold on. The, the sacrifice of praise. Is that right? The sacrifice. When you you just sacrifice. You may not feel like it, but that's why he said we should offer our body a living sacrifice. sacrifice. Be willing to praise him. Be willing to thank him. Is that right? Be willing to testify. Is that right? What else is that? Let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God. Yes. Continually. Continually. That is the fruit of our lips. That is the fruit of our lips. Giving thanks to him, to his name. Giving thanks to his name. Thank God for the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank God for he got to know and understand that. Is that right? Giving thanks to him. You don't have to be afraid or ashamed to give thanks to him. One scripture said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Didn't he say so? So ain't that be ashamed. God done done something for you. Tell the world about Jesus. What he said. But to do good. All right, listen, listen to this fact. Now, let's see what he said now. But to do good. And to communicate. And to communicate. Forget not. For with, this, with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Even necessary. We learn it. We want to learn how to communicate. Is that right? Amen. We all can be better communicators. Is that right? Amen. We all can. The word of God is here. And when we do those things that's pleasing in the sight of God, he, he, he loves that. 
He loves that. He wants to be able to do those kind of things. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Read that again. Amen. Verse 16. Let's hear it. But to do good and to communicate, forget not. To do good and to, and to communicate, forget not. To, to do good and to communicate, forget not. For Go ahead, evidently, evidently, we can forget it. That's why he said forget not. Don't forget. That means that there's a possibility that you can forget. But he said don't forget. Is that all right? Amen. All right, read the book. For with such sacrifice, Listen, with such sacrifice, here's another sacrifice. God is here's good. that other sacrifice. Now I got to make this sacrifice to communicate with my brother, communicate with my sister, communicate with each other. I got to make that sacrifice because sometimes you don't feel like it. And you forget about it, but God said with such sacrifice, He's well pleased. Yes. Don't you don't we want to do the thing that is well pleasing to the Lord? That's what we as a people got to remember. We want to do things that is well pleasing to the Lord. Read the book. Obey them that have rule over you. Obey them that have the rule over you. And submit yourselves. Yes. For they watch for your soul. Amen. They watch for your soul. That's why every preacher. He's very important. He's He's very important because he watched what the things that are being said is dealing with the souls of man. As they do. That's why you got a preacher. This can't tell you anything. This can't just say anything. But you got to be careful about what you say because people's souls are at stake. That's why I tell people who want to believe God according to the scripture. Don't want to be so super deep until somebody drowns. Is that right? Or you get drowned. But just Tell the truth. You know, tell the truth. Tell, and God tell man to do it according to the ability that God gives him. You got to understand people. God don't give man, all men the same ability. That's just the truth of it anyway. Is that right? If people can not understand that, but God give it according to the ability. Because a man that's going to tell the truth in the God, even if he don't tell you but a little bit, as long as the truth, just like Jesus and John, John came preaching the gospel. He didn't do no miracles. But he preached the gospel. And the things he said was true. Jesus came preaching, doing miracles, raising the dead and everything. Is that right? Amen. Because he was sent by the Spirit. John was too. Is that right? Amen. John, was, when he was born, he was filled with the Holy Ghost. From his mother's womb. Is that all right? See, Jesus and John had a special assignment. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? John the forerunner. Yeah. Jesus came along. Jesus even came to John to be baptized. John said, you come and die with me to be baptized, I need to be baptized with thee. But he said, suffer to be so, John, for it behooves us to fulfill all righteousness. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Amen. So we want to do what the Lord said. Read the book. Amen. Obey them that have rule over you. Yes. And submit yourselves. For they watch for your souls. Uh-huh. As they that must give account. Oh, Lord Jesus. Do y'all just hear that? I know I did. Yeah. You know, preach you have to give an account to people. Yeah. Well, you gotta tell the people the truth. If they if they like you, don't like you, mama, sister, brother, you gotta tell you gotta tell the truth about the thing. Yeah. Lord Jesus. Is that right? I don't want nobody's blood to be on me. I pray, Lord, help me to tell the truth regardless. Read the book. As they that must give account, that they may do it with joy. Do it with joy and not with grief. Amen. Read. For it is unprofitable for you. Because you do it with, if a person do something with grief, it's not helpful for you. But you do it with joy, you don't mind expressing. You don't mind letting people know what they need to do. In order to be saved. Amen. That's why the scripture don't be a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the word. Y'all can't not only hear, but you got to submit it to your life. Amen. Read. Pray for us. Pray for us. For we trust we have a good conscience and all things willing to live honestly. Yes, sir. Live willing to live honestly. Don't live any kind of way. Don't be a liar. Amen. Don't be unjust. Don't do things. That this please regardless of what the flesh, because the flesh wants to do a lot of crazy, wicked things. 
Don't. Don't go flesh. The flesh has to do it to me everything. Amen. But we can't, we got to live honestly. Yeah. What else he said? But I, but I beseech you. What? The rather to do this, that I may be, may, may be restored to you the sooner. Uh-huh. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus. The God of peace that brought again from the dead. Our Lord Jesus. Our Lord Jesus. That great shepherd of the sheep. That great Jesus, our great shepherd of the sheep. Through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Through the blood of the everlasting covenant that took place. Is that all right? Our right. everlasting agreement. We thank God for the shedding of his blood. By the shedding of his blood, he done made it possible for all men everywhere to be saved. He says, it's not his will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And Jesus shed the, the blood there where he died, shed his blood. For the world. And that's a blessing. Amen. Read the book. Amen. Verse 21. Make you perfect in every good work. Make you perfect in every good work. To do his will. Amen. That's it, isn't it? Amen. Don't you want to do the will of God? Yes. Yeah, we want to do the will of God. Jesus. That's what we're all about. Striving to want to do the will of God. Now, we ain't looking at each other trying to criticize, but help each other. Pray for one another. Encourage one another. Is that right? That's what we want to be. What he said. Working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight. Yes, sir. Through Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And I beseech you, brother, suffer the word of exhortation. For I have written a letter unto you in few words. No, we're letter in few words. Know ye that our brother Timothy is set at liberty, which whom, if he comes shortly, I will see you. Amen. Just give an illustration of the brethren, it's good for the brethren to be concerned, to be faithful. Is that right? Amen. I tell the, I tell the brother, you know, it's important. And that period is the way you, Pastor, you got to be faithful. No, I'm going to tell all of you. That's it. All the brethren got to be faithful. Yeah, I mean, that's what God is calling for. Is that right? That's what God is calling for. Sometimes we, I think we take the, the, Assembling and coming together nonchalantly mm -hmm. and think it's like, well, okay, if I come, I come, if I don't, I won't. But I remember the days when people would be fearful to be out of church. <laughs> They'd be fearful because they, they didn't want to be home a lot of day. You sitting down drinking tea, and I'm out on the battlefield praying and seeking the Lord. Huh? We should be, is that right? You got to learn to be faithful. Read the book. Amen. Verse 24. What is that? Salute all them that have rule over you. Yes. And all the saints. And all the saints. They of Italy salute you. Uh huh. Grace be with you all. Amen. The grace be with you all. And may the grace of God be with everyone. All of you that are here, those that are in other areas of the world. May the Lord be with you. We thank God for this great chance and this opportunity. That being all.